Hey everyone, um, this is topic 2.3 where I'm going now into circular patterns. Uh, sorry if I sound a little tired, I spent, or I was trying to learn Blender until 12, which didn't go well, and then I spent the rest playing Overwatch 2, which also didn't go well. Okay, so, um, let me just demonstrate what a circular pattern is real quick. So basically, like, let's say I have a random spur gear, or just an ordinary gear, and then I have, like, I have a hole, a quarter inch hole, and then I want to have a series of holes going around this hole. What I can do is I can create a circular pattern where I take I create another hole that's a certain distance away from this hole. Let's say I want the center distances to be a quarter inch. And then I select, uh, you might not see it, uh, you might only see linear pattern, so in case, just click this arrow and you should get circular pattern, in which I click this and it'll create three um, circles just following, or three separate holes following um, the circumference of the center point right here. And then you can like move the center point. So let's say I wanted to, I don't know why you would want to do this, but it would be there. But yeah, you can like move this, have it all the way out here if you want. But really most of the time you're probably just gonna want it around the origin. And then in case I don't want only three holes, I can change this and make it like five or even 10. Oh, that actually worked. Okay, cool. Um, let me just stick with like five for now. And then I can left click and confirm. And now I have a bunch of holes going into my screw. I can confirm this, extrude this, remove through all, and there you go. Um, let me demonstrate another use. So let's say I have, oops. Say I have my gear in here, and then I inserted, let's say, just like a random screw. Instead of having to insert a bunch of more or a bunch more screws in order to like um, completely enclose all these circles, what I can do is I can circular pattern within an assembly. Where I click this, and then click the axis of pattern, which would be around here, and then I can choose 5. Boom. It's pretty useful. Um, yeah, thank you.